What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Davis, and this is T3D Lifestyle. So check it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my Timberland collection because that's right. It's almost winter. Winter is coming. And as it gets cold, the sneakers go up and the Timberlands come out. So we're going to take a look at my uh, my Timberland collection. We're going to take a look at the Timberlands I bought Cameron. And I'm going to tell talk a little bit about what I like about my Timberlands and what I don't like about the Timberlands. So stay tuned. Let's unbox these things here, man. These are the premium Timberland boots for kids. It's a size eight. Let's unbox these. All right. So these are the premium Timberland boots for uh, for, for kids. Uh, again, this is a size eight. Uh, now there are different styles, different types of Timberland. These are the premium. The premium are a little bit more expensive than the regular Tim's. And you'll always be able to tell a pair of premium Timberland boots based on the sole. Uh, when, I, when we go in my closet, I'll actually show you um, sort of the basic pair of Tim's because I had a pair of premiums. I, um, I, scuffed, I got one scuff mark on them and I got rid of them. And it, Timberlands are the same as Air Force Ones for some of us. You know, the white on white, the Uptown Air Force Ones, once they scuff, that's it. Once you scuff a pair of Timberlands, that is it. You know, it's pretty much get rid of them or you try to uh, clean it. Sometimes no matter how hard you clean it, uh, you know, it just stays scuffed. So uh, <laughs> when we go upstairs into my closet, I'll show you a pair of what a regular pair of Timberland looks like. But these are the premium. You can tell by the sole. You can tell by the two-tone sole, two-tone sole. Quality and construction of a Timberland boot just cannot be beat. This is nice new buck suede. The leather are the same. It's the same. Uh, the shoestrings made out of the same shoestrings that are in the adult shoes. And the stitching, the stitching in, the, in this Timberland is just, I mean, that's good quality craftsmanship. And, and, and I, I preach that a lot because a lot of times you'll find shoes that, you know, that are hot glued, but these are actually stitched. You look inside of them. It's actually insulated to keep their feet warm and it has a padded sole in it as well. Let's see if I can take it out. I can. Ah, there we go. It has a padded sole in there. So this boot, um, if, as long as you take care of it, this boot will last a long time. Now, again, I've, all, I've always preached that you clean, need to clean kids sneakers. Timberlands are the worst <laughs> some of the worst pair of shoes that you can actually get a kid, to be honest with you, because they're going to scuff the toe and they're going to get dirty. So why do you buy, buy a kid's pair of Timberlands? Probably for the looks, to be honest with you. Uh, and, you know, if you live up north where it's, you know, if you get up, it gets really cold in winter, these are actually really good. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. No cap. You know, I just bought these pair of Timberlands for my son because... I like Tim's. I wanted him to have a pair of Tim's and uh, his old Tim's, they got a little bit too small for him. But what I do do is when, after he wears them, I do clean them up as much as I can. Timberlands are a good boot, good solid boot for, for your kid. This thing will last a lifetime. They get scuffed up, but if you clean them, they'll be good to go. And as always, like I said, keep the box, keep the box, keep the box. So that if you're able to clean them up good, you can resell them. All right, so we're in my closet. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, my Timberlands. Uh, I don't want to say collection, but we'll take a look at the Timberlands that I have. I'm going to lay them out for you. Give you a little bit of history on one specific pair that I have that is really, really nice. So check this out. All right, so he, here are a few pair of my Timberland boots. Uh, that I have here in my closet. Um, 
And again, I, I love Timberlands. It's not just the basic Tim or the classic Tim. I like the different types, like this particular one here. I actually wear this with what I got on now. Um, these are nice because these are like a pair of sneakers. And, you know, again, I dress this up. I have shirts and stuff to go with that. Um, I wore these a lot. These are black with the gum sole. Very nice sneaker. Uh, I'm sorry, very nice boot. Uh, you can see these got some wear in them because, I, again, I wear my Tims in the winter. These, uh, again, it's a nice hiking type Tim in the olive draft, olive color. And uh, I wear those. I have a outfit for those and the same with these all right so I, I, what i did was i laid my shirts out on the floor um you know i got quite a few different shirts so you know i have a, a long sleeve tee the sweatshirt the hoodie sweatsuit uh another long sleeve black another hoodie and this shirt here and you can see how the green Tims, the green ones, they go with that sweatsuit, that sweatshirt, or they'll go with that sweatshirt. And again, I have like these and this one, and these actually go with the shirt that I have on. So yeah, I have quite a few, quite a few pair of, uh, you know, I have quite, you know, a collection of Timberland outfits. You know what? I'm missing a shirt. I sure am. Here it is right here. Ah, forgot about him. There we go. Can't forget the navy blue. Can't forget the navy blue long sleeve. And sometimes, you know, you just pair them up with those right there. Some blue jeans ripped and torn. And you got something. But, yeah, it's my little Timberland thing. So, when I say I love Timberland, you can see that I love Timberland. I don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But, you know, I love Timberland gear. So we're going to take a look at my classic Tims, and then I have a special pair in that box right there that are limited edition um, that I have worn once or twice, but we're going to go downstairs and unbox these. All right, so now we take a look at my closet. This is what I was talking about, the difference between the classic Tims and the premium. As you can see Cameron's Tims. This is a premium Tim. You can look at the sole. It has the more gum-like sole, two-tone. This is a classic Timberland boot. One sole, one color. Um, and then you have the construction boots uh, that are a little bit higher than these, and they don't have this right here. Um, even though this is not a premium like this, it is still good quality crafted shoe. Um, the, you know, the suede, the new buck on this is, is really soft. Uh, as you can see, I've had these Timberland for probably two years now, and you can see that I take care of them. Same with this one. Well taken care of because I take the time to clean them. So that's the biggest difference between the premium and the classic and the pricing as well. Uh, the premium is going to cost you a little bit more than the classics, but you know, you kind of see what you get, the white stitch in it. It's just a much better shoe. All right, so I told you I had a surprise. These are a pair of Timberlands that are hard to come by. They don't make them no more. They don't sell them anymore. They are a, a special. They're a limited edition. And here they are. These are the Brogue Wingtip Timberland Boots in Chestnut. Now, these actually come with blue strings. You can get them with the blue strings or the regular strings that come with them. And this is a beautiful shoe. Look at how it's crafted with the wingtip design. It has the two different soles. Look at that stitching in it. Pattern in the tongue. I probably have only worn these probably about two maybe three times and i've had them for about five years and again these are hard to come by they're hard they're hard to find they're hard to come by online um uh, i i bought these I, I did not buy these new um but um i these were um these were uh, authenticated and uh, i bought them from a shoe broker and uh, these pretty much cost me about 350 dollars so 
Um, this, I love this boot. I love this Timberland boot. This is my favorite Tim. And uh, again, these are the Brogue Timberland wing tips that are chestnut. I actually have some footage with this on my foot. Um, I mean, I have it, but I'll put this shoe on so you kind of see what this looks like on the foot. That's gonna do it for the day. If this is your first time watching my channel, what I need you to do is like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that when I post videos, you be the first to see them. And as always, build a better you, invest in yourself, see the dream, and make it happen.